Thanks, Sam Wittes and Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Times segment tonight. The D-man couldn't be here tonight because he's on the road campaigning for Mitt Romney. I'm not kidding. Miller is actually on the Romney plane. How frightening is that? But before he took off, I spoke with Miller last night. So, Miller, you know, congratulations after the Boulder Fresher tour was so successful. The Romney people grabbed you Billy, as the opening. They looked at our counts and said, we've got to get somebody from that tour. And you're in the even-handed business, so I'm out there with them so, tomorrow. So, so what have you learned uh, being on the road with the, with, the, with the campaign and opening, you know, introducing? What have you learned you didn't know? Um... That he really is, uh, uh, you know, Bill, in a, in a world where they throw the word great around so capriciously, I mean, everybody's great, this is great, that's great, he is a good man. When I introduced him in L.A. a few weeks ago, he came off stage, and I was thinking in such a hipster world, this man came up to me, he put his hand on my shoulder, he said, gosh, Dennis, what you just said was so nice. And I thought, maybe it's time for a gosh president in this country. You know what I mean? He was, uh, he's genuinely... A straight shooter. And listen, I'm a square. I, I dig cats who are square. All right. So you say that there's no pretense about him. Uh, when I covered him up in Boston, I didn't see that. You know, he's, he, But he's shy. He's a shy guy. A little reticent. But, yeah. uh, Billy, the key there is when he said that 87 percent of the Democratic state legislature in Massachusetts was Democratic and he worked hand in glove with them to yield the best school system, manna from heaven for moderates. You know, that was the key line in that. The thing about my five sons was sweet. He had good balance. He was solid in his base. But when he said that, I think people are, are, are so sick of the yeah, polarization. Battles. Yeah. Well, I, you know, that was one of the highlights of the first debate. Now, when you uh, go out there, I mean, um, do you do comedy? You do, you know, a few you know lines. I'm not going to screw it up, Bill. No. You know what? I'm going to go out and I'll do a couple. You know, I got a uh, a couple lines. I might say, you know, I was backstage and uh, I just had a cup of coffee and the coffee was so old and bitter. I said, what's with this coffee? They said, that's just Joe being Joe. And so, you know, I might throw that shot in, but that's about as far as I'll go with it. So you might mock Biden a little, a little bit. Take a shot at Biden. Okay. You know, I was watching a debate the other night, and I was looking at Biden's smile. I said, what does that remind me of? And it reminded me of the logo on the Cleveland Indians hat, so I went over and watched baseball for the second half. You know, that's what <laughs> Biden looked like to me. Do you get any jazz for being on the factor? I mean, do you get any, you know, people when they see you coming out and all of that? Listen, people, uh, Billy, the, the show's even-handed. Can I tell you, 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 anybody, put it this way, anybody who watches the show kind of gives good marks to the factor. The people who hate the factor... Don't watch. I, I say to them, yeah. well, when did you watch? What, what a particularly... Right. I wouldn't watch him. I go, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you telling about? me for right. that? So you're warmly received, then, when you go out uh, on the Romney Trail. Yeah, but I, I will say this. When people come up to me and talk to me about you, they think you bust chops as much on conservatives on the show as they do liberals. Well, and I, I know do. that's a thing for you. That's so, my job. So it's not like I go out and it's just nonstop uh, love fest. They just think, you know what it is? You got like a little Garraway in you. It's good broadcast journalism. A little Dave Garraway in Well, me. I'm just saying, I always think of communicators. He had his sweaters all the time, didn't he? When yeah, he was... and you had, you know, I had the chimp. You didn't have the chimp. He had J. Fred Muggs. <laughs> we almost had him. But it's a solid, you know, the show's like respected <clears throat> because they think it's solid pro we're journalism. Trying, we're yeah. trying. Okay. A um, couple of things that came in today that yeah. you might not know about. All right. New sure. poll um, that said, who would you rather babysit your child? Romney or Obama, this is ABC News, and they, I, they must have spent days thinking this one up, all right? So Romney uh, loses in the babysitting. Point. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess they, they think he might outsource the job, and you might have a Taiwanese guy there. <laughs> but I, I think what that reflects is the fact that Obama has done such a good job over the last four years of instituting a nanny state that they figure it might just translate over to babysitting. <laughs> you just thought that I up just right. thought that the up. nanny state. I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want the president babysitting because, you know, Reverend Wright might come over and, you know, the, the kid go, God, what? Where'd you learn that? Yeah. Reverend Wright came over. Well, at this point, after four years, I think Obama reminds him of the St. Bernard and Peter Pan. You know, that kid took care of the kids. Come on, Nana. You can imagine ABC News and Washington Post is what they're talking the about. The well's dry, baby. All right, who's right now cutting your lawn, all right? The, I, the on. well is dry. Yeah. That's what they're pulling on now. All right, and, and Miller, are you going to break this tonight on The Factor? He's got a new book uh, he wants me oh, to. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I asked book? him to put the cover up. Yeah. Do we have it here? 
killing Lincoln logs. <laughs> like, now, there's nothing in the book, but I figure if they Google killing Lincoln, which has sold 53 million copies, they might not want to wait for the time delay to order that, and they might get killing Lincoln logs. So killing that's why Lincoln. I did it. Did you have Lincoln logs when you were kids? <laughs> I, I used to walk eight miles through the snow to build my Lincoln logs. You know what the problem with Lincoln logs was? Yeah. The dog would eat them. And again, you'd have to do the Heimlich on the <laughs> Well, the, then the, 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 the Lincoln log. A different sort of log. All right, Dennis Miller, everybody. There we go. <laughs>